this attack is an unprecedented situation. I think it completely changes the tails in the market, really. And it's coming on the back of a 20% rally in oil prices already this year. Pump prices in the U.S. have gone from 305 to about 355 already, to about 350 already. And so that, I think it is already going to begin to tell on consumer sentiment. And if oil prices stay higher for longer, relative to the counterfactual, I think that will have an impact on the economy, especially at a time when the markets are already fully pricing in a cyclical recovery. So I think it really does mean that volatility changes, skew changes. And while this could be near-term inflationary, I think this is medium-term pretty disinflationary. See, I, I was going to ask you, actually, there there's almost an assumption that it's automatically inflationary because it means that there's more, I guess, onshoring or end of multilateralism. So talk me through why you think it's the beginning of deflationary. Well, because if oil prices are higher relative to the kind of... Remember what happened in 2022 when everybody was worried about the Russian war was that in the latter half of the year, energy prices came off significantly. And that was one of the main reasons why we saw Goldilocks in 23 and early parts of 24. So if you're beginning to see a little bit of an oil, the early parts of an oil shock, I mean, it's, it's still early to call it that. The curve is backwardated now only about seven dollars so if energy supplies are quite tight in any case and uncertainty is increasing that brings increasing risks for the global economy at a time when the markets are nowhere close to price for it at a time when the markets are priced for perfection they are priced for goldilocks this does add caution into the markets and really says that at 450 the 10-year u.s treasury is quite attractive relative to some of the equity markets which are trading at 20 to 21 times forward earnings so i think from that perspective this makes that more compelling the bond versus the equity store.